everyone, and welcome to this quick look uh, about Mi Middle Earth Shadow of Mordor. Uh, what I'm playing right now is on the PC, but it's also available on uh, four consoles of PS4, PS3, Xbox 360, Xbox One. Although I think that uh, it's coming out a little bit later on PS3. Anyway, so what is Middle Earth Shadows of the Shadow of Mordor? It's a mix between Assassin's Creed uh, stealth gameplay and uh, the counter-attack mechanics from uh, the Batman Arkham games. So it's action-oriented, uh, definitely, but uh, you can often circumvent combat uh, or do things using stealth. Uh, so I'll show just a little bit of combat. So right now I'm playing on the middle of the road in graphics. <laughs> so I just saved those slaves. So here I you, you got a, one example of a stealth kill followed by a combat kill. Oh, there we go. Uh, this is a rune, and uh, you get runes by killing captains. So, who are captains? Let's go check. Sauron's army. <laughs> so yeah, here you see all the captains and war chiefs of the the orc army, and uh, you gain experience, power points, and runes by killing those. And when you begin the game, uh, everyone is black like this. You really don't know anything about them. And you can interrogate orcs to find out their identity and or their strengths and weaknesses. Um, so if you interrogate a normal orc, you'll just find out their identity. And there's another thing that you can do to find out a bit more about them. Let's see on my map. Yeah, like this. Uh, as you can see at the top right, it says Intel. So either there are documents or an orc that can give more information about the captains. So whenever you want to uh, to hunt a, sp a specific captain, you will try to get all the information that you need. Why? Because it's much easier. Let's take a look at this guy. For example, here I know that he can be killed uh, easily with stealth and he can be uh, hit decently uh, by doing a melee combat. However, he's invulnerable to ranged at attacks. So when you know their strengths and weaknesses, it becomes much easier to fight the enemy. And if you don't know anything about them and you just charge right in, there's a fair chance you'll get your ass kicked because you have no idea what to expect. You might hit one of their uh, strengths without knowing. Uh, let's say uh, you shoot uh, a sort of beehive and normally it releases uh, mobile, uh, mobile flies. And these things usually either hurt or terrify orcs, but sometimes it can be one of their strengths. Like they, they hate a mortal fly, so they will get, get enraged and become stronger. So, yeah, you really need to know their strengths and weaknesses before you attack their uh, orc. Anyway, so as I said, when you attack one, when you kill it, you uh, get uh, a rune. And it's also very important for if you want to attack the war chiefs, because usually they have bodyguards. This one doesn't have any bodyguards right now because I killed them. While him, he does have one. 
and uh, let's see. Ah, there we go. Sometimes orc captains fight against one another because they're orcs, so they want to kill. Uh, they want to kill each other and become the strongest one there is. Uh, another thing, uh, even if you kill a captain, sometimes they will come back later on. So here you see like heads on spikes that means I really kill them and in his case since you see a corpse it means I left him for dead even though in the combat it looked like it was pretty much he was done for so these guys will come back eventually and uh, the only way to really kill uh, someone is to either decapitate them or blow their head off so it's kind of like Islander. Anyway, so uh, da, 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 what else can I talk about? Yeah, weapons and ruins. So each weapon, you have the sword, the bow, and the dagger. Dagger is for stealth, the bow is for ranged, and sword is for melee, of course. So uh, when you start out, you have one rune, rune that you can use, and you can unlock others as you go along. So I boosted up my dagger because it's fun. I love it. And the the different uh, runes come into three flavors, I think. So here you have the normal one, the blue ones, which are kind of rare, and then you have the epic ones that are normally dropped by war chiefs. Sometimes uh, captains can drop them, but normally not and they have a wide variety of effects. So let's take a look at it. the upgrades. So at the beginning you only have uh, the first line available and as you get power points you unlock the other tiers until you reach the end like I did and then power points are pretty much worthless. However, experience, every time you reach uh, the experience uh, maximum, you get to spend one more ability point. So I still have, I can use, but I'm waiting a little bit since I have pretty much everything I want. Then you have the attributes, like your health, the number of uh, uh, arrows you can shoot, uh, and the runes that you can put on your weapons, etc, etc. Then you have three special abilities that are extremely strong, but that it, can, it takes a while to sort of build them up until you can use them again. And finally, you have all the different activities that are similar to what you would find on Assassin's Creed games. Anyway, and there's a lot of lore, so I really enjoy the lore. So, if you're a Lord of the Rings fan, I'm sure you can find something to your liking. Now, if we look at the map, here we can see some missions that are available, but the red missions are those that are related to orc captains. Uh, normally, you also see some to, let's say, uh, free some slaves, uh, to power up your weapons, and also story missions like this one. And uh, you also have fast travel waypoints that you can unlock. And so far I've done I, pretty much half of the game. I'm really enjoying myself. I'm not very good with action type games, but I am becoming better and better as I go, so definitely, uh, definitely nice. So even if you're not necessarily interested in that type of game, you might find something to like in uh, Shadow of Mordor. If you enjoy Assassin's Creed games, because I really haven't played the Batman games, so I can't talk about those, but if you enjoy the Assassin's Creed games, you will probably like this. If you like Lord of the Rings uh, proper, even better. 
Uh, one thing more that I have not mentioned about uh, these guys. Let's say that you die. So you can die uh, killed by anything. So you have orcs, of course, but you also have uh, caragors, which are the equivalent of wards. So sort of hunting cats. So you can get killed by those, or uh, ghouls, or even uh, like huge monsters that kind of remind me of uh, the that monster in uh, Return of the Jedi that Luke Skywalker kills when he's uh, imprisoned by Jabba the Hutt. It kind of remind me of that. A Rancor, yeah, it remind me of the Rancor. Uh, I think they call Gror or Grog or something like that. Those things are massive, and uh, you better run when you encounter one. <laughs> anyway, when you get killed, time passes in the game. And when time passes, uh, the orcs like uh, this one, like the mission that's on the map at the top right, well, these missions resolve themselves. And when those missions resolve themselves, usually uh, if this one, well, you see, invade the execution to weaken Sauron's army. So one of the two is about to execute the other one. So one of them would die and the other one would become stronger. So when you die, the orcs get stronger. So the game gets tougher. So if you're having trouble with the game, that could be a problem. But it's not so bad. You uh, more, uh, yeah, it's manageable more or less. However, some people will find it too easy. And there is an option that you can, well, not an option, but a skill that you can buy, uh, which is called Death Tra uh, Threat, and you use it on the orc captains, and it's it levels them up. So why would you want to level them up? Well, if you find a game too easy, for example. And it also gives them a chance to drop uh, better runes, so epic runes. So th this could be a decent way uh, to get nice runes. Anyway, I think that this system is awesome. Mainly because even when you encounter one of those guys, it feels like they have, they really have uh, a personality. So let's take a look at this guy. So you see he's, he's vulnerable to combat finishes. He's a summoner, so that could be a problem. Hate of defeat. Okay. Is there someone else that I could attack? Huh? Damage by his potion? Yeah. I don't really want to attack this guy. Damage by combat. Trying to find someone with a bar. Yes, hello. Stealth finishers. So that guy is actually easy to beat. So I'm going to mark him and I'll try to find him to show you what it looks like. Because when you encounter them, either when it, well when it's the first time that you encounter them, uh, they don't really have anything special to say. Like right? more like. Oh, you evil guy, blah, 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 I'm gonna kill you, blah, 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 <laughs> Anyway, if you defeat them, or they flee, or even, even if they kill you, they will say something different when, uh, when you encounter them once more. And it kind of gives you the feeling that you're in a real world, and uh, enemies have personality. But there are two problems with the game. <laughs> so one of the and well, both problems are related to the environment. I would say that. Uh, yeah. There's one big problem is that they didn't you uh, give enough time to polish uh, the environment. 
Because sometimes, well, not sometimes, rather often, you get caught in like a corner or an invisible line and uh, it's easy to get uh, unstuck. You just jump or you know, roll to the, the side, but it gets annoying. And one of the things is that sometimes there are zip lines that you can just jump on and glide uh, down from. Uh, once I glided from uh, a zip line and it sent me through a tower and I fell right in the middle of it and I couldn't uh, leave. So yeah, that was a bug, a pretty big bug. And another time when I used the zip line, I flew through the ground. And of course, since there's nothing under the ground, I fell down and died. Yes, the game counted that as a death, so every org became stronger and uh, was stuck saying, what the fuck? <laughs> so anyway, it's not perfect. Still, so far, I would probably give it an 8 out of 10. It's a lot of fun. It's a lot of fun. And as you can see, very similar to Assassin's Creed Ooh, cool. when it comes to that. Ugu Barrel Scraper. So what does he do? Okay, I don't have any more details. So oh, yeah, Lord, more than they get. this is Agreed. very much like it's always uh, the Berserkers who get the grog. Or the archers, or shields. War into the top. I only don't see need this no captain so far. I've had enough of them, dude. It's time we marched off elsewhere. Some you won't have to wait long. Book. Saw a captain from Noon here a few days ago. Noon? Someone's sneaking about. Bloody reeks of feet. Try. They got lots of soft kids there, though. Matfield! Find me! Ranger! Ranger. Ha. Don't you dare run away from me! I'll chase you all over Mordor! As you wish, I'll kill you right now. You're not up me that way. And we're gonna kill him. There we go. I did not decapitate him, so he will be back. And he dropped. Okay. And since I'm in a stronghold, it's not a good idea to stay here. So, an easy way to get uh, rid of uh, pursuers is to go up these towers. So once you're uh, done uh, high enough, they don't follow you. There we go. Anyway, so combat is a lot of fun. And uh, at the beginning, it can be a bit difficult if you're not used to uh, action games. But hey, even I could learn, so I'm sure you can. Uh, one last thing, I've been playing with a keyboard. I do have a controller. However, I started playing the game with... Uh, he saw me. Uh, so, anyway. So yeah, um, I started playing with the keyboard, so when I tried to play with a controller... Ah, oh, man, come on. I was having a little bit of difficulty to adjust because I was using the keyboard. So if you start playing with the controller, I'm sure you'll have a much easier time uh, at the game because the controller was, was uh, the game was made for controllers. Uh, still, it's quite playable with the keyboard. Uh, you kind of have to do a little bit of uh, hand gymnastics, but still very playable. Anyway, I hope that uh, this quick look was informative and uh, I certainly hope you will try the game. I certainly enjoy it and I will definitely finish it as soon as I can. Uh, as I said, I've done half of the game so far and I'm not about to stop. Anyway, I'll see you next time.